Hey guys and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be playing with the new Kaleidipo highlighters and if you have been watching my YouTube channel you know that I absolutely love the Kaleidipo highlighters so I'm quite excited to try the new reformulated highlighter. So Kaleidipo recently released six shades. I'm going to show you swatches of all six uh, and I decided to purchase two of them. So I have 201 and 202. And I also purchased the iconic cream blush of Clay de Paul. This is because of your recommendation. So a lot of you have been recommending these blushes and I always kept postponing. Now I'm going to be trying those blushes. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here, welcome. I would love if you could subscribe and become part of this amazing beauty community. If you're returning, welcome back dear friends. Now let me know in the comment section below what you think of the highlighters, which colors did you purchase? Because I know that a lot of you purchased um, different shades. So let us know how they work on you. Now, as I'm getting ready, I actually want to show you, first of all, swatches of all six colors. And the swatches that you're seeing are thanks to Waits He. I'm going to link his Instagram account. He's an Instagram content creator and he showed swatches of all six colors, which actually helped me a lot while I was choosing the colors that I wanted to pick. I honestly wanted to purchase all six colors, but they are quite pricey. So I started with two and I really, really like the quality of these highlighters. The reinvented luminizing face enhancers are now formulated with precious opal powder and smooth texture oil gel to glide on effortlessly and create a luminous finish that lasts up to 12 hours. Now, I was very tempted. I tried them immediately after they arrived. Um, they are so beautiful. First of all, I'm going to insert some footage in natural light of the two highlighters, two new highlighters that I have. Now, I have to tell you guys that all of the Clay Depot highlighters actually come with a little overspray on top, which is very beautiful. But once you swipe it and use the highlighter for the first time, you're going to remove this overspray and then after that you have incredibly smooth luminous powder. I'm going to try and start actually getting ready. So I thought I'll just quickly get ready with you and right now on my skin I only have a little bit of my Uriash serum. This one is very light, it feels like water and I applied this one like a couple of hours ago when I woke up just because I needed to add some moisture to my skin. At the same time this doesn't basically add a layer, it's like water. I really like this one because I want to try the Clay de Paul serum. Now I want to try this Clay de Paul serum. This is a sample that I have and it's um, I believe one of their most famous iconic serums. I am not going to be applying SPF today because I want to see how the serum feels. I have one more sample from the serum. I just want to see if you have this one, a full size of this one, and if you've used it, let us know in the comment section below. Ooh, Actually, in terms of texture, it is the exact same serum as this one. So it's basically like water. It basically feels like I'm applying water to my skin. It feels fresh, almost a little bit cooling. Um, I'm not rubbing. It might look as if I'm not being gentle, but I'm actually very gentle. I just have very sensitive skin. And once I touch my skin, it tends to get a little bit red. This is because of the sensitivity of my skin. Okay, I have a little bit more in this sample. So I'm just going to squeeze out whatever we have. Okay, you can see immediately, I see immediately this incredible glow on my skin. I definitely don't need a new serum right now because I have a few serums that I haven't used. But this one is tempting me. All of the ingredients on the back are in Japanese, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, post the ingredients right here from the website because I ordered my highlighters from Japan. Now, it actually feels very fresh on the skin. Um, it does feel a little bit cooling almost it gives me kind of a cooling sensation let me know if i'm right if this is the case with this serum um, if you've tried it if you have this serum let us know how it works it almost feels a little bit cooling it feels um, really nice actually on the skin immediately i can see the glow on my face i like it 
I'm going to see how it's going to wear throughout the day. How it's going to wear throughout the day. It's as if I'm talking about foundation. Anyways, um, it's still very early in the morning here. I woke up two hours ago, but it's still like... Um, it's not even seven o'clock. It's actually before seven o'clock. I'm going to be using my favorite um, Chanel foundation. I love Clé de Peau foundations, but this time I thought I'm just going to mix and match brands. I don't want to do this video like um, one brand, full face of one brand, because we are testing the highlighters today. I am going to be using the Numara 1, the Chanel foundation. And I'm going to use half a pump actually all over my face. And then a little bit of concealer. I'm going to write all of the products in the description box. Oh, this concealer feels so nice and cooling under my eyes. The applicator is so nice. And apply it directly with the applicator. I applied too much. I actually don't need that much but I'm going to blend it. And my lips actually feel a little bit dry, so I'm going to apply my favorite Emile Cordon Lip Balm. These are absolutely gorgeous. And actually, at the time when I'm filming this video, I actually have a giveaway. And I'm going to leave a link to the giveaway in a pinned comment in the description box. These are really good. And unfortunately, the giveaway is only open to US. I really, really wish it was international. However, there are some shipping restrictions, so hoping that next time it will be international. Now it's time for the blush and I want to show you how it comes. This is the packaging. I'm sure that most of you already know it because I know that this is the favorite blush of so many of you. I've already swatched it. It didn't come with the fingerprint, of course. <laughs> and that is number four. It looks very, very beautiful. It looks like a pale, almost like something in the middle between beige and kind of a dusty rose color. It's very, very beautiful. <laughs> this was the color that attracted my attention the most. Excuse my nails. I am very busy lately. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply with my fingertips. This is me using the Clédipo blush actually for the first time. I've tried it actually, it was late at night. When I tried it, I didn't have any makeup on and I liked it, but it was like probably 11 p.m. right before washing my face literally the other night. It actually gives a very, very nice glow and sheen to my cheeks. Okay, you're right guys, it's it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> it applies very easy. So this is how it looks. Probably going to apply a touch more here. So on my cheeks, it looks more like a dusty rose right here in the pan with a little bit of beige, but it actually gives a very healthy rosy flush on my cheeks. Now we're moving on to the highlighters and I'm going to apply one on one side and then the other one on the other side. So for now, I've only had the highlighter in number 18. These were from the previous highlighters and this one was actually very kindly sent to me from Clé de Peau UK. So a huge thank you Clé de Peau. They actually sent me this and they hooked me on their highlighters. It became my favorite highlighter and that's how I actually became a fan of Clé de Peau and I started spending. Um, anyways, that was a nice move Clé de Peau. So this is the highlighter that I have. It's number 18 and this one is actually a lot more subtle compared to the new ones. But I believe that the new ones actually have different intensity of the shimmer. Now I believe that from the new highlighters, the ones that are 17, 21, 22 have more subtle shimmer. I believe that they have similar texture to this one. So this one does not have any shimmery particles whatsoever. You can literally apply this all over the face and it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's um, the most ethereal 
and it's hard to understand this highlighter actually it's so beautiful and then i believe that from the new ones 201 202 and 203 are the ones that have more intense glitter so they are more like a classic highlighters you're going to see now when i swatch them i'm also going to clean my face and apply also number 18 side by side to number 202 201 um anyways so let's go ahead and try 201 on my face. I've already tried it and it looks beautiful on my skin. Let me actually apply just a little bit of... I don't have powder here, but I just want to take away any glow so that it doesn't interfere, so that you can actually see the difference. Now, I honestly believe that these highlighters, I think, are going to be suitable even for rich skin tones, just because they add a lot of light to the skin. They are... the Kaleidipole highlighters are actually quite extraordinary. They just add light to the skin, this kind of ethereal light to the skin. And, and that's why I believe that even if you're blessed with rich skin tone, you can actually choose from all the colors. Now this is how it looks on my skin. And um, I'm going to zoom in in a minute. I just want to show you from far away because I believe that you can see better the difference between the colors. Okay, and then the next one that I got is actually a refill. So this one is 202 and it's more yellowish. I think that both look beautiful. I love them and actually this one 202 looks very nice now that in the summer I'm just going to apply a little bit on my okay I did I think that I applied a little bit too much but I just want you to be able to see the difference so 201 and then we have 202 they definitely have um, a lot more intense shimmer compared to my number 18. Okay, let me know which one you prefer. I think that when I'm looking at myself in the mirror, in real life, I can definitely see that this one is a little bit more yellowish. This one is definitely a little bit more pinkish. Both, I think, look beautiful. I'm very happy with both of them. And the one that I want to purchase is 21 because I believe that 21 is going to have the same amount of shimmer as number 18. Um, number 18 is a lot more subtle. I'm going to clean this part of my face now and apply number 18 just so that I can show you. If you're someone who has a hard time wearing a highlighter and you're afraid of the shimmer, then this one, number 18, I believe is the best highlighter that you can possibly find. Okay, you can see that you can barely see it, that it's there. And it's there in real life. It just has the most gorgeous, natural looking. It's the most gorgeous, natural looking highlighter. You can see that this side is actually a lot more subtle. This one definitely reflects the light a lot more. It's more intense in terms of shimmer. And this one, I still don't have shimmery particles on my face with this one, but it just catches the light and reflects the light a lot more compared to number 18, which looks exactly like skin. So that's why I'm saying that number 18 can even be applied all over the face very successfully, just with a light brush lightly all over the face. Now I'm going to reapply my blush because I cleaned it so that I can apply the highlighter. Okay guys, and since I want to give you a really good review of these highlighters, I'm going to apply this one, 202, on my eyes as well. I usually like to use highlighters on the eyes and that's exactly what I'm going to do right now because I think it's going to look beautiful. I'm just going to tap it with my finger first and then blend it with a brush. And I think that it looks stunning on the eyes as well. Now I'm applying the same color on my eyes because I need to go out after that and I don't want to have two different eyes. So the Clay Depot highlighters have a very light scent, which is really pleasant to me. I just want to show you a comparison between the 
boxes of the new highlighters. As you can see, they are just a little bit different. This is the new one and this is the old one. Next, I'm going to use 201 in the inner corners of my eyes. Now, I know that these are actually very expensive highlighters. However, I personally like to invest in highlighters because I believe that a good highlighter, a good high quality highlighter that you like can actually elevate your whole look. Okay guys, so this is with the mascara on and I still have here number 18 and here number 201 again. That's the difference. Now I'm going to apply one of my favorite Clay de Peau lipsticks. I know that they reformulated the lipsticks, but I don't have access to them, sadly. I purchased the highlighters from Japan and I actually purchased them from... Um, I'm going to leave um, the link to the website for those of you who are based in Europe and you can't... Um, you, you, if you don't have a Clay de Peau retailer in your country, I would highly, highly recommend the website that I'm using. It's Beauty Gypsy Recommends. This is not affiliated in any way. It's just that I love her services. The highlighters and the Clay de Peau products arrive directly from Japan. Um, they become a little bit more expensive than you're going to buy them from the US. So I suppose that I believe that in the US one, Clay de Peau highlighter is around 96 US dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and on this website, it's around 106 US dollars for a full size the highlighter, but you can also get the refill. Then you also pay shipping, but for me, it's worth it. If you really want the product, um, the, her service is absolutely excellent. I couldn't say enough good words. Um, she also sends very generous samples um, and I really like the service. So this is going to be the finished look now. Are these highlighters worth the splurge? I think that it's all up to you. It's um, Clé de Peau are my favorite highlighters. For me, it's worth the splurge because I believe that the good highlighter can elevate your whole look. And this highlighter is quite big actually. I can't see what is the size of the highlighter. Oh, it's 10 grams of product. So it is a lot of highlighter. If you're going to use it and enjoy it, and if you like it, I think that it's worth the splurge because this is going to last you for a very long period of time. You can use it on the face, you can use it on the eyes, and once again, a good highlighter can elevate your whole look and can make your skin look very polished. But it's all up to you. If you want to have a bigger collection of highlighters, then apparently you have to consider the price as well. I like them. I would give them 10 out of 10 in terms of quality. For me, it is a timeless, beautiful product. Gorgeous creation from Clay de Peau. I really enjoy the packaging. I enjoy also the quality of the product inside. It feels very expensive. I adore also the brush that comes inside and I always use it. So for me personally, it's worth the splurge, but you have to decide for yourself. Looking at the swatches, you're going to decide whether you need this product and whether you want this product or not. Thank you so much for spending time with me and don't forget to let me know in the comment section below. Did you purchase anything? And give us your short review. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.